In today's video, I'll we'll be testing a bunch of stuff around Brookhaven. We got free premium Brookhaven 2, and even how to have two houses inside the game. This guy's video shows us how to do just that. You can see both of his houses right there. Apparently, this actually works. First off, he grabs a lot and shows us any house on the list. Then he joined in with another account and chose the house in front of it. And with both those accounts in the game, he can actually have both homes all to himself. To test this one out, I got my second account right here. There's literally two Nandos in here right now. We can start by getting a house with this one. It has already been built. Here in my other account, we'll teleport in front of it and get the lot right next to it. I'll even get a different house. Accidentally, I ended up getting this same one. That's funny. With that, we now have two houses all to ourselves. This is the only working method I know. Another way would only happen in a whole different game. In this video, he's talking about Brookhaven houses because there are some that you have to get premium for. He's actually gonna show us how to get these premium houses for free. Huh? Starting off, he shows this house, which is premium, but then he changes to this one that's actually under construction. Over on this panel, inside of it, you need to click on its last stage. And with that done, we'll actually have that same premium house, but totally for free. If you're a fan of the channel, you've probably already seen me show this one. But for those that didn't, let me show you. This is the premium house he showed us. Here's how it looks. It's really pretty and nice looking. A pretty recent addition to the game as well. It's fully furnished with all kinds of stuff. They even have a pool on the back. On the second floor, there's even a secret safe right on this hidden corridor. Another awesome thing about it is, if we go into the main bedroom's bathroom, then go to this wall of the closet and press the E key, we'll actually be teleported into the shower, making us clean ourselves for the day. Of course, it only works if you're playing on a computer. We aren't getting that one though. It's gonna be this one right here. This is the exact same house as before, but still under construction. It's literally the same design and everything. It's just not fully built yet. Still nothing inside of it. But just like the video, we can click on this panel and choose the last stage of it. It'll start building it again, and we'll have literally the same house you can get with premium. Now it is done! One of the differences are all these open house and for sale signs all around it, meaning that the house has recently been built and it's now for sale. Inside of it, you'll also see that it doesn't have all the furnishing from before. It's literally fully empty. Even if we go upstairs, you won't really find much there. Even the closet we were in before doesn't have anything. Does the bug even still work? It actually does. That's pretty nice. Where we would find the safe is also empty, so this place doesn't really have a safe. I guess this is a nice way for you to look like you have premium in the game. It's kind of not worth it in my opinion because of how empty it is. It's like a ghost house. Now in this video, he shows what Brookhaven 2 would look like. Apparently, this one is a bit different and even a bit more realistic. These street lights fell over for some reason. The streets also have a more realistic texture. There's a rusty car flipped on the road. Road, as well as very realistic grass all around the map. Watching that video makes it certain that this isn't regular old Brookhaven, since I know there wasn't an older version of the game with any of that. The only way to make the game even close to that one is clicking on that button and choosing this theme right here. Doing that will make the town a bit more realistic and even futuristic. The streets have these neon lights on the side of them. There's a bunch of awesome shiny buildings. One of them even shows the premium symbol. There's just one thing that I don't like. All these things are actually just decoration. You can literally jump into them as if it wasn't even there. Another thing is that you're the only one able to see them. None of the other players see the same as you. So for me, that's pretty cool, but kind of bad in that sense. Now this game right here wants to call itself Brookhaven 2. Enjoy Brookhaven 2. Have fun with the new Brookhaven. If you get into this so-called game, it looks pretty normal at first glance. Maybe not. Why is there a planet Earth just floating right there. That doesn't even make any sense. In front of the motel, there's a bunch of vehicles for us to use. We even have this little doge car in here. Can we actually drive around with it? It does! I can't believe it! This car is such a random addition, but I wouldn't bat an eye if it was in the original game. For some reason, there's some vehicle just floating up there? Not just that, but what's that bizarre thing coming towards me? Hello? Who even are you? I don't know, but we can climb on top
top of it, which is weird. If I had to guess, it kind of looks like a chicken. Going up these stairs, we get to Club Brooks, where there's even some guys dancing. Look at that. Let's go, bro. Let's get our dance on. There's also this dancing banana that's just standing there. In the neighborhood, we can even find Blue from Rainbow Friends. What's up, my guy? Are you good? This game even has a McDonald's. But I guess that's Brookhaven, too. It doesn't make much sense, in my opinion. Going back to some secrets, he's gonna show us a secret room. We first go into this back alley, where we'll find a secret passage we go into. Now we grab the sleeping bag, place it against this wall, and lie down on it. With that done, we'll find ourselves in that secret room he's talking about. So let's go behind the stores. Right over here, we'll find that secret passage just like that. I'll even grab a flashlight, as this place is quite dark. We can't forget to get the sleeping bag. Then just place it right there, and try to lie down on it. Appears that it worked. Look at this place. It's so weird looking. From here, we can see everything that's beneath the whole map of Brookhaven. I'm not sure why, but there's lots of water over there. Why don't we take a closer look? I'll get the helicopter. With it, we can go over the barrier and right below the map we go. Now we can get an even closer look into this water thing. Can I swim there? Oh, that didn't work out as I imagined. For this next secret, we need to get really small and touch that light on the side of the fountain. Doing that for a while will let us literally swim in the air, making us able to fly around the whole map. This girl basically turned into Superman. Let's test it out. We can start by getting really small. With that done, we need to get close to these lights just like that. Seems promising. Just do this for a while like she did on the video, and then just go fly around as a majestic bird. It didn't seem to last long, though. Maybe I did something wrong. Let me try it again. Come on! Let's fly. We can actually do this. Whoa! Okay, that was a lot further this time. I think we can try again to do it even better. Let's go! We can do it! Oh, that was anticlimactic. Maybe that girl can be using cheats. I'm not sure if going that far is even possible. This video is gonna show Brookhaven's biggest secret. First thing we need to do is click the coffee shop's plant three times. You then click this speed limit sign next to the diner five times. Now at the diner, you click their open sign ten times. Really? This one's weirding me out a bit. Then we go to the airport and click this green light one time. And another click on the other green light. I'll just start doing it already. Or I might get lost because of that many steps. We'll start by going into Starbrooks and click their plant three times. All right. One, two, and three. Then to this speed limit sign and click it five times. With all that click, we go right here to the diner. Now click their open sign ten times. This one's really new to me. I've never seen something like this. We just need to go to the airport now and click on this green light. And then on that green light. Back to the video, she goes to the ice cream shop. Where she grabs the bubblegum ice cream. After getting it, we just throw it in the garbage. Now we go next to the spawn tree and click the white light. And on the other one as well. Let's get some ice cream then. Here on the back, we need to grab some bubblegum ice cream. Whoa! That's actually delicious. Sadly, we do need to trash it right now. Even if it's true, that's just a waste of food. In any way, we need to click this light next to the tree. Then we go over to the other one and do the same thing. Now for the final step of this secret. She goes on top of the game's fountain. Send this to everyone with enough time? It's a joke. Dude, she literally trolled us. I can't believe I wasted my time with this. In Brookhaven, you'll always find secrets. These were just a few of them. So that's gonna be it for today. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like on the video and comment down below which was your favorite. Make sure to watch one of the videos on screen right now. They're just as fun. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for even more Roblox for all of you. Have a good one.